Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. And in this video, we will see how to get user input using Java. So for example, uh, you want to enable user input. So user should uh, give you the input and then you want to perform some action on the input. How you can do it, I will show you in this video. So there is a special uh, class in Java called scanner, which enables us to take input. So we will define scanner, which is a class, or you can uh, say this can be a data type. And then I can define a variable for this data type or instance is equal to new scanner and it takes some it input and what input it takes so to give the output on the console we write system dot out right we have seen in the last videos and to take input we give system dot in Okay, so this uh, code will enable us to take the input from the user. Now, for the first time when you write this code, you can see a red squiggly line below the scanner. So this is because we need to add this class in our uh, project or in our project file. That's why it's showing error. So when we compile this program, it will give us error. I'm going to compile it. And it says error exit in required project. Okay. So this there is an error. When you go to the problem tab here, the error says scanner cannot be resolved. Okay. So to solve this problem, you just need to hover over the scanner and then Eclipse because it's an intelligent IDE. It will give you some suggestion to solve the problem and the first suggestion is import scanner and This is the solution of this problem. You just click import scanner and it will add this line to your code and this uh, line is nothing but it's importing the scanner class which is already defined in Java so this is uh, provided by Java to you, which helps us to take the scan uh, from the input, uh, from the user, right? So you don't need to even write anything. You just hover over this and click the first option and this will be added, okay? Now there will be no error. You see, there's no error right now, okay? Now to, uh, show what input uh, the user has given you can uh, tell a user that you system so we will write system dot out dot print ln and in the brackets we can ask the user enter some number okay and then in the next line we will define a variable we have seen how to declare a variable in the last video so for example int uh, user input number this is the variable name this is long but uh, it uh, you know explains uh, the use of this variable right and then you just need to use the scan object which is this one small scan and then you just need to paste it here then just write dot and when you write dot it will give you some suggestions right and we are looking for taking a number as an input because this is integer right 
So we are take, uh, interested in taking numbers as an input. So just search for uh, next int, okay? Next int. And uh, then just give this uh, semicolon here. And in the next line, we are just going to print uh, the value. So we will just print the entered value is the entered value is and then you can just print the value right so you can just write print i haven't told you what is the meaning of this print system dot out dot print without allen then this will just print your output without breaking the line okay so just copy this uh, variable from here and paste it here and now i'm going to run this program and now you can see the output here is enter some number so we will enter some number for example thousand so we have given this user input so it's asking uh, the program is asking the user to enter some number so we have entered this number thousand and press enter and it says the entered value is thousand which is printed by these two lines okay in the same way uh, you can rerun this uh, program and once again you can give some number for example some random number and press enter and it says the entered value is this okay so in the same way this is just for the number so next int it says you want or you are expecting an integer now suppose you want to scan or you want that the user must enter some uh, double value or some uh, text value how you can do this so you can do this i will just copy the same uh, lines from here but instead of uh, using this scan i'm just defining another scanner which is scan one and in here i will say enter some uh, decimal value okay and then I will just change it to double and in here whenever you are expecting double value user input double then you need to change this function so you need now expecting double value so scan dot next double okay so whatever you are expecting from here you need to ensure that next after next this uh, name comes here right so right now you are expecting the double value okay so what we are doing in this code first we will ask for a number then we will ask for uh, the uh, double value and this scan should be changed to scan one right we will compile the program and first it says give the number i will give number 4222 and it says the entered value is uh, 422 and then it says enter some decimal value so i will enter some decimal value 145.1523 for example and press enter and it says entered value is the same right so in this way you can take double as an input okay now for example you want to take uh, some text input okay so take to take a text input what you need to do is you need to define here string and a string is a data type which uh, you know takes a uh, string string means uh, the array of characters right 
and in here you just need to change it to scan dot next line so we are expecting a line from the user this time and please uh, enter some string and the entered string is okay so string means uh, some kind of text uh, we are expecting from the user okay and this also we can change it to string and the variable name here also we will change as string now we when, uh, when we run the program here the program says please enter some uh, string we will enter hi there how are you for example this is a string and press enter and it says the entered string is hi there how are you right so in this way you can take uh, different kind of inputs from the user and print it uh, or assign it to some variable and then use this variable uh, in your program in the same way in this in the place of this next line there can be different uh, function which can call float next float is there N next uh, simple next is there which uh, will return you uh, the string there are some uh, function like next boolean which can take a boolean value next big decimal that next big integer next byte next float so whatever data type input you want to take you just need to uh, take the corresponding next uh, value to this okay so i hope you understood the basic concept of taking or, or scanning inputs from the user and i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now